Hey everybody, oh my gosh, this lighting is not great. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm in my kitchen today um, because I am home once again because my kids are out of school for this polar vortex uh, that's hit St. Louis area. And what I'm doing is I am making a crock pot meal so that way I can spend the rest of my day working and not have to think about what's ready for dinner. And what I am making is um, chicken and dumplings, but I'm not making my own dumplings. I'm not from the South. I don't even know how to make dumplings. So I found this really cool hack online and I thought I'd share with you guys. And that is to take a can of biscuits. So that's what I have. So I have, you know, pre-made biscuits. You cut it into fourths. I'm cutting my, here, I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see what I just did. Ooh, things just really bright, flip. Okay, so there I have cut it into fourths. And then what I do is I just take the two end pieces because they're small enough that you don't need to cut them down much more. But I just cut them into fourth or cut them into halves. And then the two middle pieces I cut into thirds. And then to make it a quote unquote dumpling, here's the little hack I saw. Take your knife and flatten it. So I've got a nice big wide knife. And I'm just using the knife to flatten it. And now guess what? They look just like little bite-sized dumplings. Ready to go in my crock pot, which has, um, I took a, a three large chicken breasts. All right, I'm gonna switch it. I don't wanna make y'all sick. Um, I took three large chicken breasts, cut them up into bite-sized pieces, and just seared the outside um, to make them nice and, uh, to keep the juice in so it'll be, the chicken breasts will be juicy. And then I've got two cans of uh, cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of mushroom soup, so that way you get those little bits of mushrooms, so that's good for you, get some protein, uh, low-fat protein going. And then I also included one bag, a full bag of frozen peas and carrots. Oh, and I put some milk in with the soup too, just to kind of um, make the soup go a little bit further. Um, obviously make it more gravy-like than a thick congealed craziness. So this super easy dinner is now in my crock pot and I actually have like I don't know, I feel like I've done like a ton of dumplings, but I don't know, I'm stirring it up here. I know you guys love looking at my boobs here, but anyway. Um, so here, I'm just stirring everything in because I've already got the crock pot on high because a little hack that I learned from my mom is whenever you're doing a crock pot meal for the first hour, for the first hour, cook it everything on high. Even if the recipe says to do it on low, Cook it on high because that sears in the flavor. It, it creates an automatic quick cook and then you're good to go. And then you turn it down for to do the slow cooking over time. Um, but anyway, so I'm just sitting here cutting up a can of biscuits and I figure, well, you know, I bet some of my peeps in the badass community would love a quick tip for future polar vortexes in case you don't happen to have a can of biscuits around or whatever but I just thought this would be fun so I see Stacy and Casey hey how is it that we ended up with two Ryman names watching this watching my little live um, anyway so this is just a super easy little dinner um, so this way I can spend the rest of my afternoon I've got two zoom calls um, going with a couple people that I need to meet with and um, actually three zoom calls planned for today and a phone call so it's gonna be kind of fun so but I, I know that when I walk out of my office in the middle of today my house is gonna smell amazing and dinner will be ready whenever I'm ready to eat can I post the recipe? Yeah, absolutely. It's super easy. I mean, it's chicken breasts. I did three and these chicken breasts were like huge. I don't know how big these chickens were, but they must've been monsters. Um, 
case because it involves food, yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so it was three large chicken breasts. I'm wanting to say it was maybe a pound and a half or two pounds of chicken that I cut up and cooked. Um, two cans of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of mushroom soup, and, uh, and some milk, and then a bag of frozen peas and carrots, and that's it. I mean, it's, and you know what? I'm kind of making this up as I go, like seriously. Um, I uh, I know that chicken pot pie, chicken dumplings, whatever is basically cream of chicken soup, you know, and chicken and whatever. But I'm just adding my own little dumplings from a hack that I saw on Facebook. So just kind of trying it out, throwing it all together. I probably need to add some salt and pepper to the whole mix. Um, which I'll do in a little bit, but I figure those soup, those condensed soups are usually pretty, pretty salty. So I try not to add too much, but I can add some pepper and I don't know, maybe some other random spices that I feel like throwing in. But um, I just wanted, <laughs> I wanted comfort food on day number two of being stuck at home. Um, Cause the B&I chapter that I was gonna sub for yesterday didn't meet because school was out. And then my B&I chapter today didn't meet because school was out. So, no, Casey, I mean, I'll still post the um, recipe in the group. That's not a problem at all. I just wanna let you know that it's super, I'm just kind of, I'm one of those kind of cooks who just kind of throws crap together and sees how it works. And then I go, okay, that worked. Or that mostly worked. I probably need to do blah, blah, blah next time. But I knew that today, I was gonna want some comfort food and I knew I uh, I had planned to make this for dinner last night, but um, life got in the way, so that didn't happen. Um, so anyway, that's my thing. I hope y'all, how long do I cook it for? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do high uh, for one hour and then I'll come back out and I'll turn it down to low and I'll probably just cook it on low for four to six hours. I don't know. I mean, it's chicken and dumplings because it, the chicken is already mostly cooked. I mean, the middle part may not be fully cooked all the way through because I literally just seared the outside of the chicken when I cooked it. Um, Cause I want, when you, when you sear meat like that, it keeps all the juices in. So, and for me, my biggest complaint about chicken breast is it gets dry really easily. So, um, I went ahead and just um, seared it so that way it would hopefully taste better or stay, stay juicier. And hopefully the fact that it's cooking in the soup um, uh, will help. So anyway, I'm gonna stir it again because I just added a whole other, a whole bunch of the, a whole bunch more of the, my faux dumplings here. And I might even, based on, well, I don't know, I might even need to add like maybe one more can of soup. I don't know, because this is a giant, giant crock pot in case you couldn't tell. Please forgive the mess. Please forgive the mess next to my crock pot because my house is kind of in transition right now. But anyway, so um, that's kind of my thing. And I thought you guys might enjoy um, getting to see a nice little easy peasy dinner um, recipe and see what I'm doing because figured I'm doing it. May as well do live. Get some engagement. Get some fun. Find out what you guys are doing. What are you guys doing today, right now? What are you doing for your businesses? What are you doing for your family? Are you hanging out with your kids today? Because one of my kids went to a dentist appointment with her daddy. She wanted to get out of the house. She was getting stir crazy. And the, the other one, my youngest one is, um, my young one, Rachel, is here in the house somewhere, probably watching YouTube or something because she, she didn't care to help mommy cook. Have I made this before? Yeah, I've done something like this before, Casey. Um, it, what I did previously was I didn't do it in the, crock pot. I did it in a Pampered Chef 
stone casserole and stole stone casserole dish and what I what I had done was I just took the biscuits and like I created the the chicken and soup and veggie mix um, but then I just put the biscuits on top almost like a, a crust and the top part got golden but the bottom part was all gooey and so that whole thing didn't work quite well so I was like well maybe if I just cut it up into small bite bite-sized pieces it might be dumpling like and so I went and found something online that said yeah basically biscuits Dumplings are biscuits. They're, you know, it's flour, water, salt mixed together basically is all a dumpling is. So I'm like, well, that's basically a biscuit. So I'm just gonna throw this all together and we'll see how it works. We'll let you guys know. But um, I've done something similar in the past, not this exact recipe, but like I said, I'm one of those who just kind of throws crap together and sees how it turns out. And most of the time, most of the time, it's better than edible. We'll put it that way. I'm not saying I make the most amazing. I'm not the, the best cook in the history of ever. But I certainly, um, pretty decent. You know, throwing, throwing this kind of stuff together. It's goofy. You're hanging with your kids. Nice. So, anyway, sorry. Throwing my, gotta go throw my biscuit thing away. But anyway, y'all. So, that's my fun little video today and later I will go live again when um, I do the drawing for the polar vortex for the Starbucks gift card so um, uh, please if you haven't already commented on what you did yesterday for your business during the polar vortex um, go find that post that says Starbucks giveaway Starbucks gift card giveaway um, post in there because I'm gonna do a drawing live um, so I got to make a list of all the people who commented on that post and we'll do a drawing later. So bye everybody. Stay warm, stay safe. It is super cold outside. I was outside for a little bit this morning to take care of some stuff. And, uh, at the time that I was out, it was like seven degrees and it that was insanely, insanely cold. So be safe, everybody. I love you guys. Mwah.